Hello and welcome to this uh, first lecture of the new section on understanding what is going on in your life for the personality development. So in this section we will help you understand uh, how what to learn how to understand what's going on in your life and the way we will do in this particular lecture is we will start talking to you about the Gerald Egan's skilled helper model that can help you understand what is going on in life so that you can develop the skills required or competencies required to develop your personality. So how to understand what's going on in your life? We have come uh, almost halfway. We've, uh, you've defined your career goals. You've identified the competencies required. You have discovered your strength and improvement areas and you've chosen one area to develop. So you know what to develop, what part of personality to develop what aspect, what trait to develop. And now you need to figure out a best way of doing that. And the first step in that is to understand what is going on in your life in relation to that improvement area. So how do you, how can you understand this? So we use the Egan's model here, Gerald Egan's model to make it happen. And in this, basically this model, this whole process of uh, is to finally find what do you need to do to make it happen? Actions leading to real valued outcomes at the bottom that is encircled in red. And for that, what you need to do is go through three stages. Uh, first stage is understanding what is going on, which is what we will do in this section. The second uh, stage would be to find what solutions make sense to you. Uh, and uh, finally, how do I, how do you get what you want to and then implement them, right? So that's the three stage process of Gerald Egan that we will look at. Now, the question is, what do we do next? So we start with the stage one of the Egan's model, right? In which you see here the three steps as you go down in stage one. First, you need to develop the story, understand your life story. And more important is to, as you develop the story, understand the story, to develop the new perspectives, right? Something that you've not seen. Because we had seen those things earlier, would you would have changed yourself. So the block to your development is that you have stopped seeing the new things about you, yourself, that can help you develop. And then you see what were, which are the, which of the new perspectives should you leverage to, uh, to start uh, making it happen, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now, the question is, how do we do that? Any thoughts? It starts with, uh, as we said, it starts with understanding the story, gaining new perspective and finding the leverage. Now, your question would be, how do we do that? How do we do all the three things? So let's take a look at each of this one by one. So each of these, what we do is we ask questions in and we listen to ourselves and uh, and that gives us what's going on in terms of the current story, new perspectives and the one story, one perspective that has a leverage for uh, that improvement in your life in terms of your personality that can help you achieve your career goal. So that's how you do that. Now the question is, what question should you ask? And that's a million dollar question. Let's take a look at the questions to ask in each of these stages. In the uh, stage one current scenario, what's going on? The story part. Now, story part, what the, the purpose of this is to get your current work and life scenario, understand problems, issues, concerns, and the blocks to self-disclosure. That is the most important. What is blocking you to know about yourself? And how do you do that? You ask these questions yourself or you get a, a skilled mentor, coach to ask these questions to you. What are your concerns? What are the problems that you are facing? What issues do you need to focus on? What is troubling you? What is keeping you back from being what you want to be? And what's uh, keeping you from doing what you want to do? And what do you need to resolve? So these are many questions. And these are the broad guidelines of questions. And you need to ask yourself in a manner which we will explain to you when we show you the examples that we have used that you, ki you kind of open up yourself to yourself, right? So the second stage, once you have understood the story, you have defined your current story, then you need to look at what are the new perspective. And here, the basic idea is to identify 
the critical elements of the problems as issues or unused opportunity. What is the important elements in these problems, issues or unused opportunity? And challenge blind spots, the self-defeating uh, patterns. We are unable to develop a part of personality that is important to us is because we start believing it doesn't matter and we have some blind spots that keeps defeating us in developing that. So whole idea would be to challenge those blind spots and discover those self-defeating patterns. And how do you do that? By asking the questions again. So what are your unused skills and resources? What are your natural talents and how could you use some of them? What opportunities did you lose? And what ambitions have remained unfulfilled? How could you accomplish if you tried to get those opportunities and ambitions fulfilled? What opportunities should you be developing? What role models could you emulate? So these are some of the questions that can help you uncover those blind spot and self-defeating patterns and find the critical elements in the problems, issues and unused opportunity. Having done that, you need to then look at what is the leverage? Where is the leverage in all these that you have discussed? And there what you need to do is to identify what are the key concerns, what should you work on, what should you work on. So you start making choices here and what will make difference in your life. So again asking questions like what problems and opportunities should you really be working on? What issue, which issue you face would make a substantial difference in your life? And this would require some honest confessions to yourself in your personal private space. What problem and opportunities have the greatest payoff value? Which issues do you have the will and courage to work? And that's where the commitment starts coming in. Which issue you've managed will take care of the other problems? So that's the leverages. That can you find one thing to work on that can take care of many problems at the same time? Which opportunity if developed will help you deal with critical problems? And which problem would you like to start working on? So you start narrowing down to defining the various problems in life at this stage one, figuring out the perspectives that you haven't seen, discovering new things about them, and then figuring out one problem that you want to start working on. You get an idea of this stage one? Great. So what do we do next? <clears throat> Having looked at the stage one, what's going on, what we go on to is the stage two, where we look at, uh, we will look at uh, what solutions did we do. Before we do that in the next lecture, that we will do in the second section. Before we do that in the next uh, in section, in the next lecture, we will show you the examples and we will share with you how did we actually do it for the people in our example. The two examples that we have been running through. So we will take you through this whole process of how did we do it there. So thank you so much for watching this first lecture of this section and understanding what is going on to help you develop your personality. And I hope you continue to learn new things, continue to enjoy. And I do look forward to seeing you again in the next lecture. If you have any questions, do feel free to message me anywhere you see this video and I'll be happy to answer your questions for you.